API Management, Episode 1, What are APIs? Hi, I'm Alistair Farkerson and I'm going to talk a little bit today about what APIs are and how they can change the game for your company. What are APIs? Well, APIs are business capabilities exposed over the internet for applications to use. Simply put, it's a programming interface that your organization exposes on the internet that allows applications to communicate with your backend systems. Typically, you build APIs that expose specific aspects of business functionality. These are things that you feel differentiate you in the marketplace, and these are things that make money for you and your company. So essentially what you're doing through the creation of APIs is that you're creating a new channel for your business. You are exposing a set of capabilities, products, services, that people can build into mobile applications and sell them to their customers, thereby creating for you a channel for your products and services online. Why would somebody use APIs? Well, some people use APIs to make money. eBay, for example, 60% of all of their listings are added through their APIs. So people are both making money by selling products on eBay, they're building applications, mobile applications that are integrated with eBay for the sale of products and services. And eBay certainly is making money by expanding the channels in which they actually get new advertising revenue and, and get new products on their site. Organizations can save money through the use of APIs. So SmugMug, for example, saves over half a million dollars a year with Amazon S3 storage. So organizations are using services provided by other organizations to save themselves money. In this case, Amazon is, is making money from selling their services and other people are saving money by using Amazon services. You can build brand. Google Maps outstripped MapQuest in growth simply because they had an, a, a, a mapping platform that people could extend and build their own applications on top of. So the Google Map had an API, it had a, it had a programming interface that you could layer new kinds of information on top of and present it in interesting ways to your customer. So Google Maps exploded in growth simply because there were other people out there inventing and innovating new applications on top of a Google Mapping application. I'm sure that Google had no idea what their mapping application could be used for, but simply exposing that API created incredible growth for the platform and I'm sure a great deal of advertising revenue for Google. You would also use potentially APIs when you move to the cloud. Um, either organizations are providing software as a service such as Salesforce, and to make use of those applications that are offered as a service, you would need to expose an API. 50% of all Salesforce.com transactions come in through their API. Inversely, organizations are taking functionality that is, is not part of their core value, not part of their core strength, taking it out of their cost structures and outsourcing it to organizations like Salesforce. They're exposing their internal systems to Salesforce and Salesforce and, and, and the internal systems work together to provide a solution that used to be purely in-house. APIs can also go anywhere, of course. Um, part of the Netflix success is that Netflix exposed an API and uh, the, the Netflix capabilities and functionalities was built into almost every device you can get these days, you know, that, 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 that presents video content. VCRs, DVRs, um, DVD players, um, uh, gaming consoles, these all have Netflix clients built into them. And as a result, Netflix has changed their business from, from a business that ships DVDs and movies to somebody who provides a set of APIs and is essentially distributing content through them. So. While Netflix has prospered, its competition has lagged. And that is all through the ability of APIs to go anywhere, to be mobile, and to be consumable by mobile devices. Thank you for listening to episode one of our API management series.